The restorative justice ministry focuses on going into the prisons and serving men and women who have been incarcerated before they get out. Um, our focus is really doing the corporal works of mercy, actually touching, seeing what the true needs are for each individual person. and then looking for help, you know what I'm saying? Because I had needed help from the right and the left and from, I been need help from everywhere because I didn't have no help. For Mr. King, even his name was not his when he got out of prison. My name was Herbert Marshall at that time. And uh, it was another guy I had the name Herbert Marshall too. And, and I was getting his mail and he was getting mine. So uh, I changed my name when I was incarcerated, whilst I was incarcerated at, back in 85. Unfortunately, when he was released, he had no identity. He was only Victor King as an incarcerated man. The first month or two months of our engagement, after he got out of prison, was really just to make sure that he had his name. And working with DHEC and working with our go-to person at the Vital Statistics Office, she was instrumental in guiding us about what we would need to get done. From there, we had to meet with the Ask an Attorney group that partners with us to then get all the proper paperwork in place and do all the research necessary to connect the two names, Herbert Marshall pre-incarceration and Victor King post-incarceration. Once we helped Victor reclaim his name, uh, he was also living in a state of being very unsettled, going from location to location, um, and none of it was very supportive. Actually was putting him in greater jeopardy and could possibly lead to him being reincarcerated. We realized that people maintaining the security of their critical documents was a constant state of jeopardy. They were losing them, people were stealing them, uh, and for every birth certificate or social security card that's mislaid, that's an opportunity for someone to misuse those documents. So Catholic Charities created what we call a critical documents bank. We now have a banking system where they sign in their documents and sign it out when they need to use it, then they can return it at their leisure. I used to deal with the uh, Palmetto Bank in, uh, in Columbia. But since I moved out here, I changed my bank. The Social Security instead of sending my check to Columbia. So I had this bank in, in uh, Bishopville to put my bank account number down and send it, send it to uh, Social Security. And it has empowered him to handle his own business. And that's what we want. You can't get back on track just trying to do it alone. You, you need help. 
You know what I'm saying? Because you can't live in this world by yourself. That's where Catholic Charity come into. When I came out of prison, I had all kinds of problems, though. You know what I'm saying? And they helped, they helped me with, with all, the, all those problems and got eliminated. I couldn't run into better people.